Items list contains all the information about the products that you buy or sell. When you create an items list, start with the items that you purchase, then enter assemblies that consist of purchased items, and then enter products that you sell that consist of assemblies. Let's imagine you are an ice cream manufacturer and you produce and sell vanilla ice cream. Enter the description and choose other characteristics from the relevant dropdowns. When this checkbox is selected, the Bill of Materials section is available. On the left side of the screen is a complete list of items. Choose the ingredients of the ice cream from that list and transfer them to the right side. Enter the quantity of each component required to build one unit of the final product. This is how we've created a bill of materials. Let's move to the next section and list the sequence of operations required to make a product. Start with the operations that are performed once per order, for example, cleaning. Select the operation on the left side of the screen and click the button to move it onto the right side. Enter the sequence number and choose the work center that the operation is performed on. You have to create a list of work centers in advance so that you can choose from the list. Enter the number of minutes required to produce one unit of product. You can do the customization by adding or deleting operations. For the inventory items, the default location can be chosen from the drop-down list.